Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. Dude, you guys have not said anything about my buzz. What gives? What are you talking about? That's the first thing I said. I said, hey, you? cool haircut. Oh, yeah, you did. What are you talking about? You didn't about? even say anything I about didn't. my buzz, dude. I've Danny, you didn't say anything about my buzz. I've seen you buzz before. True. Yeah, dude. Is, dude. Yeah. I, I should have asked you guys first. You're being a haircut brat. Uh, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I'm being a haircut brat. Yes, yes, you are. Talking about me, boys. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. I don't care. I just, I just, it's, dude. Yes, you do. You, no, you, you care don't. so much that you distorted it in your dude, head. I, I did, I did cheer. I did cheer when I saw you. Sydney jumped up and down. Yeah. Sydney double fist bumped. Like, Except for that, dude, dude. The scamp is. Wow. Wow. Not, it's not for me. I'm I'm totally fine with my buzz. I don't like. I should have asked you guys. It was a heavy energy to put on you guys. Just you should have cleared it with us first. An unannounced buzz. <laughs> an unannounced buzz. Hitting someone with an unannounced buzz is like, whoa, what the fuck, man? Why'd you do that to me? Yeah, that's a had confident to, move. Had to do it. Sometimes, sometimes the dude will he'll get he'll get like a, a three clip, and then the next time you make eye contact, he'll look down right away. <laughs> <laughs> he'll just avert his gaze because he'll be like, "I know, dude, dude, I yeah. might be a I might be a buzz head. I feel so dude, good with was, my buzz. I f- it feels natural. When I didn't I saw have, you, dude, I, I haven't like, had a buzz yeah for like, dude, maybe six this years? somehow matches yeah. Sydney's hair perfectly. I think you know so. what I mean. Yeah, I, I was like, so. we're back. I think so. We're dude. Back. I think so. <laughs> Matt and Sid are back. I feel like I'm on the outside oh, of something right now. Those stamps. <laughs> what did you guys figure out? What Trouble making. <laughs> I don't know. I might. I might get back. I was like sitting there today. I was like, I might get back into selling fucking subs, dude. I might start selling some boxing again. <laughs> I'm looking for a strip, bro. I'm trying to cut it up. I need work right now, dude. <laughs> How funny if I started selling pills right now? Like it's like I, if you just convince people that microdosing. Suboxone was like powerful or whatever. It would it would be over. That'd be pretty chill. You know, I might try to get a script legally and sell it through the cast. If I like slanged, <laughs> if I slanged a script through the cast, dude, scra- slanging a script was like the hottest thing you could do. It's just like a very high Patreon tier every month, and then you get a couple subs in the mail. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna cut the subs up yet. If I'm just gonna get a script of like purchase on this, I'm gonna definitely start selling opiates. <laughs> I, I couldn't get over how funny it was. Like selling opiates. <laughs> just like, just like, <laughs> I used to do that. I used to sell opiates, dude. It's so funny to me. It's so embarrassing, dude. I would have rather had sex with a man, dude, than have opiates. <laughs> that is nuts. Dude. I'm going to put that on my job resume. Like 20, 2008 to 2014, maybe. I don't know when it was. Yeah. You used to sell. Opiates. I don't, so know, if opiates I don't know if that's lived. short or long. Huh? I don't know if that's short or long in the opiate game. It's long. It's long? Yeah, everyone yeah. who sells pills gets caught instantly. They're all tracked. Yeah. The pharmacy gets in trouble, and then they're just like, okay, where do those pills go? And they're like, I don't know. Yeah. They're all, pills are federally tracked, bro. Brother, Damn. take it from me, dude. Imagine now making have, it to like old, like a full career with like a retirement in selling prescriptions on the streets. And like when you like hang it up, like the whole like you do like the beginning of Beauty and the Beast, like you say goodbye to the whole strip, just like goodbye. This is the end. Everyone's coming out to say like, thanks for the years of fucking crippling opioid addiction. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. I mean, you could you could do this, but you can only do one personal script. You can sell one personal script quietly. Yeah, it's like a uh, Airbnb for your health. Yeah, but if you yeah. get but if you get that one script and you go, damn, if I had another script, I'd be making twice as much money. So then you either buy your grandmom's script, then you get you can start buying your grandmom's script. And you're a script scripts. mogul. Yeah, then you're then you become a script peddler, dude. You're, that's when you get in trouble. Barren. You can legally be like, dude, they're my pills. I see it on cops all the time. Like it's got my name on it. <laughs> I don't know, I was thought it was funny. You just need a container with, with your name on it? <clears throat> yeah, pretty sure. It has to match. It has to match what's inside. You, you know what I saw on the way here. You know how like every intersection now has a homeless person <clears throat> with yeah. a sign. It's every single intersection. Yeah. Today, I this is like the first week of nice weather. I saw some people trying it out for the first time. 
Like I saw some like normal people with like brand new, <clears throat> nicely written, sign, very wordy signs and like phone numbers. No, on no wear and tear on the cardboard. Nowhere yet. like normal. Dude, them. look. Uh, this, cardboard. I saw one coming from near me, and then I saw one as I got off the highway here. Yeah, and that's. It was pretty fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that before. Like yeah, like uh, eloquent bums. Yeah, or it or looked just like, like it was their first day for sure. Well, they were trainees. There are dudes. Were they younger? Yeah, there was a younger guy, and there was actually a younger-ish lady that looked like she was, I don't know, she was dressed like a housewife in, like, a dress. Dude, there's a subgroup of evil hippie that is, like, still into, Zach, like, Jack Kerouac living stuff where they're, like, hitchhiking and, like, hoboing is cool. So there's a subgroup okay. of evil hippie that will, like, follow weird bands around. The, I know those people. Bum. Those people have, like... They're wearing dark colors that are fading into this like weird green brown color, <laughs> and there's they have all have the same like skin complexion and like this like kind of hair that's turning like orange. It's <laughs> nuts. Those people are they have the, the most disgusting hat you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> they have sick backpack. The, the backpack game is pristine. Yeah. You are one hundred percent on the backpack. They, they might be at the top of the Dude, backpack, and they sure. all have like a collie. <laughs> yes. yeah. They've all got a sleeping dog that's just like sitting next. To they have a well trained, yeah, well trained, the most well trained dog well, in the world. Yeah. I think they're doing process of elimination. I think if you're just bumming around, a dog naturally gravitates towards you, and they probably watch like seven dogs get hit by cars, <laughs> and then one just somehow stays next to you, and you're like, "This is my dog now." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my dog. Yeah. This is an evol these crust punks are an evolutionary event for dogs. Yeah, I thought about that the other day about like when people. Oh, it's the worst when they have a guitar though, and they're oh. playing that terrible music that they play. I've never seen one play guitar. Oh, dude, I mean, it's just absolutely. I don't know. It's the set. It's the worst shit in the world. I don't know how to describe it. I've never. Yeah, I've never really passed them in a slow enough speed. Usually they're playing I'm... like alcoholic f folk music. I, dude, I, I hate when I see couples. When they're cup, like mm -hmm. homeless couples, yeah, that's some bullshit, bro. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I, I, I that's when I start. I feel that uh, the same way people feel about homeless people with dogs. When I see like a homeless a man bitch. with a bitch, <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. a bay, a homeless man with a bay, it's like, oh, yeah. come on, man. He's clearly controlling her mind at that point. You, he gotta be. Yeah, that's like clearly an abusive relationship. You brought no her way that's into not, homelessness. No way, that's not an abusive. No, relationship. it could be the other way for sure. What? Can you like if you're you think a bitch can keep me in the streets? Yeah, I'm saying like <sighs> you hook a dude. Nuts. You hook a dude. You hit him with bomb pussy. You True. hook him hard, and then you're like, guess what? I'm never paying for anything ever again. Are you in or out? And he's just like, oh, my God. Yeah, but that's when a man's like, well, I guess I'll pay for it all to get this bomb pussy. That, that's what it's supposed to happen. Yeah, but you're talking about a player. You're talking about a player, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to play himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, dude, if a I'm homeless player? fascinated by it. Well, a homeless player would be wild. They wouldn't be yeah. homeless for long, though. Nah, you can't be. No, 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 no. He might be dedicated he to was, the He would fuck backwards into a cushy situation. You know what I <laughs> yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> True. Just some lady would scoop him up and keep him close. Imagine, imagine being homeless with like the sickest dick game. Yeah. You're like, bro, I just need to get, just put me in front of one babe, dude. I'm going to get an apartment. <laughs> let, let, me let, me <laughs> let me do my thing. Let me do my thing, dude. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. What if you knew that was like genuinely the best thing you were at doing in life? If you knew you're the best at yeah, like you're like that's the Slinging clearly dick. the best the thing I'm best at that yields me the most. That'd be a wild wow. existence, dude, as a dude. Did you ever did you ever believe for like a second when you were younger that you're like someday I'm going to be good at sex? Did you yeah, ever think Dude, that? I thought yeah. I was good at it from the very beginning. I was oh, like, dude, no. I was at the whole time I was doing it, I'm like, dude, I'm the best at this. <laughs> you were nice to them? I was just confused. I was I, I was convinced I was the best at sex in my head for like forever. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm definitely the best at this. <laughs> I don't know why. I genuinely thought that. I was like, I'm probably the best. <laughs> I thought I was so good at sex for so long. What was your move? What was, just, what like, was like your finisher? <laughs> nothing. It was just like, if I would just be done, I'm like, dude, you probably enjoyed that so much. Dude. <laughs> I was a hard pussy eater, though. I was like a ruthless pussy eater. <laughs> Like I was getting after. I, I was even. I'm not bragging, but I probably ate pussy harder than anyone I know. Like I was fully dedicated. I ate pussy with the most crazy fervor. Yeah. Like do or die. 
Dude, I also love eating pussy. I eat pussy like a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat his way back Dude, into a home. Nobody eats pussy harder than a homeless guy. <laughs> He's probably tongue in the whole time. Like, I don't care if this looks stupid. I'm tongue in. <laughs> He probably goes. He probably traces the inside all the way to the out and doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably crazy, dude. <laughs> oh man, they're, wa- they're wasting their time. Yeah, dude, a nice like homeless glory hole in a Starbucks. <laughs> a chick can just go up to <laughs> a women's re- glory <laughs> hole. It's more of like a glory mound. <laughs> you just like, stand over. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be imagine that though. Oh man. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> Girls could have this today if but, they wanted it. If they weren't such fuck but, so annoying. But it would just be like the other way around where it's like the people actually using it would be <laughs> that it, it, it would Dude, I mean you gotta scorch s- your brain to eat that kind <laughs> of pussy. Yeah. <laughs> imagine though. Like what percentage there are like, you know, obviously if like you know, if you bring girls into a space where there's like an active glory hole Dude. nine out of ten girls are gonna be like what the fuck <laughs> but there is that fucking <laughs> the one, one out of ten bottom of the like, barrel <laughs> woman <laughs> yeah dude. who sees a glory hole and is like oh i know what's up fucking <laughs> hell yeah dude oh my god there are women out there that love glory holes dude and they gotta be quiet they can't tell anyone <laughs> they can't tell anyone that they love glory holes <laughs> I mean, dude, that would like ruin a girl's friendship. Dude, they mask it in a hatred of the patriarchy. I think so. Do you, you think, think you think you feminists think are, really just want to see the yes. glory hole? Dude, I think, you think that they is. just want to fucking put two fingers through and wait for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no way there's any women in glory holes. It's gotta be all dudes. <laughs> dude, don't tell me that. That's dude. a lie, dude. Don't, <laughs> don't tell me that. If there's ever been one woman in a glory hole. That might be the last great myth. <laughs> yeah. No. True. I think I don't think there any. I don't think women. I think that goes against like their biology. Like sit on this other end of the hole and just wait. That goes back to like cave <laughs> times. Like, yeah, no way. It doesn't feel right either. <clears throat> like when you hear female comedians talking about how they like sucking dick. Part of you is just like, Ew, ew what's yeah, wrong with stop. you? Why do you like that? You know, there's yeah, nothing stop. funny about that. You know what I mean? It's also it's just unsettling. Well, not to like the human not in a mean way, but that's like a very serious yeah, topic. It's like, There's a lot yeah. of dudes out there Cut aren't the getting ahead, and they're like, yeah. "Why are you talking about that right now?" Dude, oh, you I, love I, sucking dick. Yeah, and this is what you're doing with your time right now. I <laughs> doubt that. I doubt that. Do you know who wants their dick sucked? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. If there was a girl who put out one business card, who's like, no, for real, like I know, like hooker, being a hooker is weird and all, like, but hit up normal dude who's like, I suck dicks, <laughs> yeah. what I do, and I'm gonna start a thing to like set it up where it's like a fun thing you should let guys do, but I do that. Yeah, she would be like, if she like pressed it, she would have a business network immediately. <laughs> yeah, like a taste, not not like a, not like a prostitute, but it was like sold herself as like almost like medic. It's I give like a medical. She would have a like month long waiting list. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly, dude. She's yeah. like, I'm not about any bullshit. I work a nine to five. I don't use IV drugs. I just love sucking dick. And I figured I'd make a couple bucks on the side. What do mm. you say? Yeah. That'd be crazy. Make a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm good, but I'll buy in. I will definitely I'll get yeah, five dudes. Invest? I'll get five dudes right now. You tell me I'm on top of them for the rest of this time. <laughs> That's where girls are fucking up, dude. They could fully take over. Dude, a oh, pussy man. pyramid scheme would be nasty. There was just one chick who was on getting unlocked through like a pyramid network of dudes. I Wait, think it, this is. What man, if I, you did just financially control a woman and then like she like she was at your control and you just yeah. used her to crush your own friend group? Like, <laughs> like as like just, a honeypot. Yeah, you just you just strategically yeah. bounced her around to completely destabilize everyone. Mm. <laughs> You're describing the CIA, the CIA, dude. It's a honeypot yeah, mission. True. You get young girls and you just traffic them and you just go. Oh, you fucked that chick? Yeah, she was 15, dude, and she's not from this country. No, but I think... I Bad thought look, you meant, like, bro. Sending a chick to infiltrate the group and, like, destroy them that way. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, psychologically oh. fuck them all and shit. Yeah. Like, do all this stuff. Or, or what if you were just really good at using this girl and you kept all your boys very pleased? 
Like, what on. if you what if, <laughs> so before what if, you, you well it depends on how they're you acting, basically yeah. you you basically get an exclusive contract with this prostitute and you just know when to get your boy's dick sucked yeah, and you just took care pimping. of all your guys you're pimping dude yes yeah, you're pimping but it's not about the money true you know like, like taking care of your boys well, sexually. dude's dad's kept like a sports book <laughs> it's kind of honorable like, there's a lot of dude's dads out there like kept like people's uncles and shit yeah i knew like we we'll just have like a gentleman's least sports book yeah yeah we got to get like genuinely suburban dudes back into like light pimping. <laughs> <laughs> Real light pimping. It's like, yo, I got this girl. Like, not a big deal. Yeah. What, light what, like, pimp, like real nice pimping. It's like fantasy football. Yeah. It's, that's all it is. True. You know? Just but like real you, you draft light, one. <laughs> like tasteful pimping, dude. Like your yeah. uncle's at the, you're at a family party. It's Thanksgiving. You're all in sweaters. He's like, yo, dude, here's my keys. <laughs> There's a bitch in the back seat. She'll suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like when people like step outside and smoke weed for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> You're like <laughs> pants down around your ankles in the woods, getting head. <laughs> <laughs> like, coming in, coming in. Like, you, you think, think anyone can tell? Bro. You think anyone knows? <laughs> Dude, they totally know. You're spraying Dude. Febreze all over yourself. <laughs> I want to try to get ahead of Thanksgiving. That, dude, that would be so yeah. sick to unleash like your horde of like <laughs> hookers in like performance fleas on Thanksgiving in the woods behind like a neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Do I smell like I came outside? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> They're making like TikToks about it. It's like TFW. You get your dick sucked with your cousins in the woods. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. There, dude. That's what uh, you know. A lot of people think we're too repressed, but uh, like there are there were societies that were completely orgiastic. So like there were societies where like you guys yeah. all had to get down, dude. Mm -hmm. Like you would see your cousin just butt fucking. You'd somebody. have to you have to put on a show. <laughs> you had to. You had to put on for your whole family, dude. <laughs> you imagine that when like you were having sex and like your mom was like not that far. <laughs> no. Th those orgiastic <laughs> communities. I don't think they broke you up, but I don't think yeah. like I don't know how that worked. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're not real. Maybe there was this never happened. But there's people who are out there saying like there was orgiastic communities. Yeah, it would well, just be like full. It was a full sesh. Dude. What would you do? Just like, everything would you was just on like the invite table. another family over for a feast, and everybody would just fuck. I don't know. Or maybe it was like a Is tribe. I think it was like a tribe type thing. You'd be hunting and gathering, but like when it was time, there were just like weird rituals where like it was fucking dancing bears or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing. But the whole fam was there. Yeah, Ooh, that's weird. Mom I mean, there's, side, there's dad nowhere side, to go. Brothers, fuck. sisters. It's like you live, yeah, you you're, get living in a, you're living in a communal. Yeah. Yeah. They hadn't even invented a like visually rooms communal yet. situation. There yeah. was no such thing as a room. You were yeah. just inside or outside. That was there's probably a lot of daytimes fucking in the woods, dude. Yeah, no, they, little, no. no when you're, when you're, probably when you're pretty young, serious during breaking the day. tradition. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know, man. There, that could have been an easy. Like I guess then, but no. Everyone else was clocking everybody else. So like, if a chick stepped away for twenty minutes, the other babes would be like. Where the fuck is she? So I don't know if anyone. I don't know if you could like pop out real quick and get. You don't. You don't think there was a heavy trust by a for just like running around a little bit? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, dude, it'd be imagine how hard everyone was in each other's business back then. Because you could like dip out, fuck some dude's husband in the woods, dip back in. It's like there must have been like total suspicion around that all the time. I, I do think a lot of the 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 the, the, the modern social structure is why we kind of like revert it into each other's business. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think when when things were like kind of more free and open, open living spaces, I don't I don't know if people were that much into each other's businesses unless they unless they posed a threat. Dude, there was one there was this one society I forget where they were, but they used to all carry on sticks and like the, the oldest dude was supposed to have the biggest stick, but it was like a it's supposed to like symbolize your dong. Yeah, and then you would like if you wanted to fuck somebody's wife, you'd take your dong staff and you would <laughs> tap the window. If you knew the dude was out, you would like tap her window and you would fuck. And if she like grabbed your dong staff, she'd come out and smash. Or you go and smash. <laughs> so, like, dude, that was a society. Yeah. That I read about one time that I'm pretty sure existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, I believe every word of that. Dude, you had a dong staff and you walked around and you were like, damn, she's looking good. You just, you'd rattle the door real quick and she'd be like, Psh. Open, like, yeah, boys. there's like, a, I, I hope we didn't talk about this before, but there's an African culture where. It's uh, you know, like deep, deep. Maybe it was like South America too. Yeah. I don't know. Like they all start sounding and looking the same at some point, documentary wise, right? Yeah. But basically, when the old people get useless to the culture anymore, you're allowed to go up 
<laughs> like bop him in the head and kill him. Really? Yeah, and like drag him off. And I do. I it just cracks me up the idea of trying to look young and hip your whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get fucking cracked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's weird to think about. Like, you know, we, we live in one type of setup, dude. There's probably thousands of setups. There's some setups out there. Some wild, yeah. the whole, just the whole thing is completely flipped around. If you got to design a setup from the ground up, like, what, what would you go with? Oh, boy. What are, what are some elements of, like, a good setup? I've, Hobbit houses, for sure. Wow. I'm going right off the bat. Full Hobbit houses, I'm Earth Dwarves. Okay. I'm into big eco future mode. Yeah, like if you can't find a hill to build a home in, you don't have a home. Yeah, well, you, you have to figure it out. Yeah. Exactly. Or you could be a tree person. True. You, you could live in the tree dweller. Oh, that's dude. Different. Tree villages and shit yeah. like that. Okay. Slightly. Yeah. Be now we're talking. El- yeah, tree village, but they're like slightly elven and somewhat lithe. Yeah, you're a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more. I'm more of like a, of the earth. I'd yeah. be of the earth, but I could see people getting the trees, and I would respect them honestly. Honestly, yeah. yeah. It's like you don't understand their ways, but it's clear that it's like you know their their hearts are in the right yeah place. like if, if say my son wanted to date like a tree person i'd be like i understand i'm confused by your actions me as the elf person i'd be a little bit more judgmental and probably even against it <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I think, I think i would support being against it a little more yeah right because like once you start allowing that sort of like uh that sort of mating then you just get regular ground people mm-hmm. you, you know what i mean no They'll start to rebel, like they're not going to be tree people, because you know how interracial couples can get all weird. Not, not the cool ones. Right? Sure, no, no. There's I, like a lot of cool interracial couples. Oh, you can go there. wrong with it really hard. Exactly. You can go real wrong, and then you rebel. So you're not, you're neither living in the hills like hobbit houses. Yeah. You're, you're not in the trees. Right. So you just start making house like. That's yeah, you're building with, structures. You're yeah. back, saying you're yeah, back to once you mix. Yeah, once you start mixing kinds. This is the root of lame setups. We'd be back yeah, in Philadelphia. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we'd be back in Philadelphia. It's, it's, it's only a matter of time. I'm also. Yeah. I'm not saying this because Sydney's black, but Sydney <laughs> would make an incredible orc. I feel like I have orc energy. You think so, dude? I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a warrior ab- from within. Actually, it would be an orokai for sure. An orokai yeah. for sure. Dude, hello, the orokai. <laughs> Are you okay with that? I think I am. I think I have natural warrior tendencies. Yeah. I think that's what the orc class is. True, they are. It's like I'm. I'm like a, an orc runt. Mm-hmm. Like well, I'm, to not, be fair. I'm not big enough to be <laughs> it's an orc, orc runt. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, the, you know, yeah, the elves were an army. They were, by the way, by the way, orcs were made from I think either the elves or something higher than the elves. They like corrupted them to make the orcs. So. It's not like they're not powerful. It's True. not like they don't rule. Dude. It's not like, exactly. It's not like they do not rule. I feel like if people take that as not a compliment, from a corrupted they just, class. Yeah, they don't know enough. Yeah. This is like this dude saw either like elves or like whatever was up there, and he was like, "I could probably do a little bit better." Really? Then that's, that's what orcs came from. You sure about you sure about that though? We can't I'm get that wrong. Sure. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> well, I know I would be unfortunate. I'll talk fast and loose about a lot of things. Been a long I, time. I don't want to talk the chain of power about L O T R. It's, a, it's, a little, it's been a long time since I cracked the Red Book of West March, but I believe that's the origin of the uh, orcs of the orcs. I've always felt a pulling towards the orcs. Mm-hmm. How do you uh, that book should have like a lock that you have to stick your dick into while you read it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a sick chassis. Your dick is off limits while you're reading Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Decryption. No girls allowed. Just like caution taper. <laughs> that's a good dude. That's that would be a good exercise that you can't come until you finish all of the Lord of the Rings. Mm. Oh, That's yeah. a sick no fab, dude. Yeah. You got to read all the Lord of the Rings. And then as soon as you finish the last one, you can release. Have yourself. you ever read Lord of the Rings? No, I watched it's, the movie. Dude, it's so good. Dude, I, I, I could only imagine. It's one that. of those things where it's like people talk about how good it is to the point where people are just like, it's actually kind of lame. And it's like, no, but it's really good. We're on like the fifth level of like going back and forth between it being actually sick and being like kind of like lame and overplayed. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but it is actually, actually sick. Dude, the movies were like a religious experience for me. I watched them, yeah. I rewatched them this year, and I was like, dude, this should be like standard. This should be part of public education watching Lord of the Rings. That was uh, seeing the Lord of the Ring movies. We saw those movies because Ansley read the books. Mm-hmm. So, like, her being able to pick movies for the rest of our relationship, it hinged. It didn't hinge, it turned because of that. Like, that was like, all right. You got the green light. I'll I'll fucking give you. I'll give oh, everything you man. got a shot. Wow. Really? Yeah. I've always been a fool. I always just watched everything. I've been like whatever. 
Nah, I was. Uh, Yo, would you? Well, you shut down a TV. What's the TV situation in your house? Oh, I mean, dude, since that moment, we're open. I'm open. It's everything. open. To everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch. I'll sit down next to anything she's watching and give it a shot. Like, I mean, I'll make fun of it. Sure. Because I mean, I am who I am. But yeah, I'll give anything she's watching. I'm like, you were right that one time. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to miss another Lord of the Rings experience. Wow. Oh man, if you just if you're just like on Lord of the Rings, that's tough. I mean, honestly, if that that would have probably changed our relationship, I think so. Because that, then then her picking movies that would have been a contentious situation, and because like a bay can only last but so long, not having certain authorities. Yeah, and it is tough to shut down somebody's energy. dude. I I have yeah. a thing where like playing music for people, I'd like rather show them my penis, dude. <laughs> I hate when I play when I put on tunes. I'm like, dude, I hope they like these tunes, dude. Oh, I hope they like these. Yeah, tunes. It's a terrible feeling. I love showing people tunes. Yeah, I'm, it's just a thing, you know. It's no big deal. Yeah. It makes me laugh all the time. I always get so nervous, like, dude, I hope they. Fuck it. It's just crazy that I like this. One thing, I, <laughs> dude, I've started to enjoy actually because I don't watch any of the shit my wife watches, but I'll I've grown to actually like genuinely enjoy sitting down for the 90th episode of a show I've never even heard of and watching like six minutes of it. I'm like, cool. You yeah. Enjoy that. yeah well what i wanted to do with her was like there's shows that are fucking terrible that we would watch and then abandon we both be like dude this is so fuck this is crazy how fucked up do you remember the first show you ever bailed on yeah the hundred no the, yeah the hundred on 100. netflix okay some dude told me about it it was some wonderful muslim man i was working with was like you gotta check out the hundred bro and i was like yeah. is it good for real he's like dude it is the most amazing show i've ever seen i was like fuck yeah dude I watch it. It's the worst fucking show oh. I've ever seen. It was so bad. He had me so hype on it. I'm like, the hundred for real? He's like, dude, it's crazy, dude. And I was like, all right, tight. And I went to watch it. I was like, did he yes. ask for a review? Was he like, what did you think of the hundred? <laughs> no, I ended before. I was like, I'm about to go start the hundred. And then like, I ended working at that place. <laughs> you got you changed jobs. It show made me look so at this bad. guy so differently. Dude, I got done this and I was just like, dude, this is the best. You were like, this is the best. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> It's crazy how bad that show was. It's on. It's like it actually is funny, but I want to take shows we abandon and then be like, dude, let's just watch. It's like they'll have. It's like we'll bail on the third season. It's like let's watch the finale of this whole entire thing mm -hmm. to see how fucked up it got. Yeah, just like let's depart from where we watched and just watch the end. I did that with uh, I think Dexter. I think I skipped like th three or four seasons of Dexter and then I watched the finale. And I was just like, yeah. I can't believe I cared about this. I might start strictly watching Yo, finales. Who? Did, did someone in our group recommend the Spartacus TV show yes. that was on like stars or yes. whatever? Yeah. Have you ever seen that? Yes. It is incredible. Dude, that's the best show. <laughs> Try to tell That's a show that. I never hear about. It did rules. Did Spud tell you to watch that? No, I watched it like 10 years ago. Spud's a big proponent. And then my wife and I got very upset when the original actor that played Bro. Spartacus died of cancer. R.I.P., dude. Oh, you guys are watching it in real time. I It was either real time or shortly after. Spartacus is one of the most slept on shows dude? ever, dude. Ever. Oh my god, dude. I I mean, does it have does it have Xena's boobs in it? Maybe. Xena Warrior Princess. I just know, I just know the one guy is always like, like getting, it's got Lucy Lawless's boobs in it, I think. Really? Well, that might be a difference here. Anyway. I just remember the dude getting completely fucked Crixus, getting completely owned by his Dominus. So like the, there was a lady who just like owned this gladiator. She'd summon him up to fight. He'd be like, she'd be like, "Come pleasure me." And he'd be like, yeah. and like go up and angrily be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like fuck her, dude. It's that's the, orc shit. It is, dude. Yeah, it's true. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> is that orc stuff? I mean, that's the way I felt like my sex life went. <laughs> you were a sexual orc. You yeah, I felt like I was being demanded by sexually aggressive women to come fuck them all the dude. time. <laughs> I never I felt like I did I, I really feel like I missed out on that like I never felt like I cleverly managed my way into pussy you know so you watched all of LOTR yeah you're okay with him calling you at work I mean again there's a whole different world I can't I haven't been able to wrap the, my head like the, the book the book I don't want to be an elf yeah I don't want to be an elf I'm just what would you rather be I, I, I don't know elf or orc be honest Tim <laughs> Tim I, 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 the point uh, you're making the point that I get uh, that's a better one. What would it. you rather be? Probably an elf. Yeah, but elves are kind of gay. True, but, but, dude, they have so much secret magic powers. Yeah, but it, they're kind of gay. 
There are the gayest of the people in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, come easily, on. by far. Easily and by far. Come on. Although those Bro. hobbits, hobbits are a little gay too. No, hobbits have it right. No, nah, hobbits. Yeah. Hobbits have it all they figured out. Nothing but disadvantages and fun. That was, no, that was <laughs> the one thing that I think they left out of the movies. I think that's in the books a lot, like all the gay hobbit sex. <laughs> 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 I'm going to start writing that. Pick gay hobbits? <laughs> just writing, just like deep, intricate fantasy work with like weird gay fantasy scenes out of nowhere. I mean, actually, yeah. that's just George R. R. Martin. He did this. Tip the hat to the king. He already did this. He, yeah, I think maybe he, when you read the books, the orcs are probably the coolest. It'd be hard to not make them cool. I mean, Again, I've never read the fuck, books. They're serving the ring, dude. dude. Every time they showed an orc on screen in Lord of the Rings, it like flexed a muscle. You know what I mean? Smashed something. It's serving. It, like grunted. The, That's the most powerful. It's Sorry. serving yeah. the ring, dude. They're all serving the ring in some way, though. Don't you True. understand? Yeah, Don't right. you understand the point of the entire series? Yeah, right. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Good point. <laughs> do you ever, dude? Do you ever like seriously sit and think about how hard it'd be to throw the ring away? <laughs> like, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Did you, like, I thought about that dude, the whole movie. Dude, I, dude I've it. had this dude. with like returning a phone charger I found in my car. <laughs> you know, you thought about the there's ring? no way I can get this back. I would not even consider this throwing is too it away. Much power. I would definitely justify just like I, no one needs to know about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've like genuinely thought about like could you throw the, dude everyone like I'd watch it be like come on Sam it's just a ring dude over but like yeah, that awesome. is when you start thinking about like having all of power at your fingertips yeah and being like no I totally throw it in the volcano it's bro like, and then yeah. would you on top of that after would you? after everything you did you're like I feel like I kind of earned this right. Yeah then you want that you've got like ass- soot and dirt all over your face like your your fingers are all cut up <laughs> yeah. You get bit by you a goblin. You lost like 60 pounds. You're like, I th- I kind of feel like if I want to keep this, that's up to me. That's what happened to Frodo at the end, that's basically. Exactly. He was like, dude, you know what? I think I can handle this thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I've I got this myself. far. What? You know? I think it'll be screaming to you. I mean, that's what I was thinking the whole time I was watching it. I was like, well, he's a, he's a hobbit. I could probably actually fucking handle that. You think you'd handle that? Yeah. I could, I could manage that. Said it's the ring, dude. I, I get it. It's the ring. It's the ring. Dude. But I, I listen. I, I would definitely uh, consider myself a class of human that didn't really get uh, exist or get represented in the movie The Lord of the Rings. I don't know if they exist in the books. I Wait, apologize. so are you are you going human kin or orc kin? I need to know for this debate. Uh, it was definitely are probably you, like an you have to tell an me orc human Wait, hybrid. Hold on one second. So Sydney, are you <laughs> telling me that you would you would keep the ring and just manage it? I'd see, but here's the di- you gotta hear me out, dude. You gotta hear me out. You gotta hear me out. I think I should just have it, yeah. okay, dude. But yeah, dude. <laughs> but I would come from a class of people that dedicated their lives to being able to handle it if they got it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, like it was like thrust upon. Frodo. The humans that's the, fu- human the humans games. went evil with it, dude. Yeah. The humans, that's, I would that's, be that was the humans orc, every time. An orc human hybrid. Ew. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Dude, I was thinking about that. So listen, I was thinking about literally no. that today. Oh man. Which, which interracial couple? I want to shoot that scene, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, which, which interracial couples that exist right now, when you see them, make you go, ugh. Because here, here's mine. My, mm. Mine is... Any any ethnicity, both fat, gross to me. <laughs> Dude, same race, fat couples don't have a problem with it. Interracial fat couples, interracial fat couples, gross me out a what little about, bit. I don't know. What about like a? Wouldn't you have to celebrate like a big fat white guy with a big fat Asian girlfriend? Dude, it doesn't. He's still living the dream, even though he's fat. I don't. It, it icks me. It icks me. It gets mm. me. I can't help it. I, yeah. I'm able to like oh, consciously man, be dude. like, that, uh, you know, I can move beyond that initial reaction and accept them for who they are. I, I see your point. I totally see. But I also see the destabilizing force of a big fat Asian girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like did not celebrate that is tough. Dude, that's like <laughs> you don't see it that often. Very often at all. You have to at least respect that. Like, man, that's wild. Yeah. Like, I may not agree yeah. with you, but I have to respect this. I have to respect this, dude. I would have to. I would have to see it again. Yeah, where did you find her? Yeah, that yeah. is, dude. Don't get me started on that's a message. Ass. That's a message board romance for sure. <laughs> oh. Dude, I was. I had to uh, valet park my car. We had to run into the hospital. Brittany had a scare, so we ran in there. When I came out to get my car out of valet, a dude was on his phone. 
He's like, hold, hold on, hold on, babe, hold on. Put down his cell, his cell phone. It was just like Tanya Facebook dating. And he was just sitting there in the thing, just chatting this lady all day, his love from Facebook dating. <laughs> <laughs> he set her down. I just saw her face just like <laughs> sitting there. I'm like, what the fuck? And he was just sitting at work just being like, yeah, these people don't want to do shit around here. Hold on. What you need, man? And the whole <laughs> he was just chatting his babe, dude. Yeah. Just all day in the hut, dude. Just be. This was the sickest parking operation. I forgot all about this, dude. This guy sitting there, he's just chatting, spitting game on Facebook dating. And proceeds to be the funniest dude in the world. I gave him a 50. He goes, the hell's up with all these 50s around here? All I get is 50, 50, 50s. It's like, hold on. It's 18 bucks. We're doing the change. I suck at math. And I was like, I think it's like, well, I forget what I said, like 32. He was like, you almost cheated yourself out of six bucks, man. Come on. Fucking honest as they come, dude. Hit me back. I was like, dude, you are the mayo. Then I go out. So I'm like, dude, that guy fucking rules. I go out. The manager's out there chilling in the cut, like trying to like help the line go faster. There was a, a black pickup truck parked to the side, and he told the, he was like blocking another lane. He's like, "Yo, you got to roll." And the dude just goes, well, "Why don't you tell it to fucking her?" And just like peeled off. And, like, it was a white dude in the truck, and he just like pointed at a black lady and spazzed, dude. Oh <laughs> and no! Was, like, he fucking he peeled like screamed at this dude. He's like, why are you bothering me and not a black? Is that was kind is of that dude, seriously what he was doing? I don't know what in he was doing. Truck, but he was the one in That's the so wrong. In the wrong, but I don't know what he was like. Why don't you fucking say anything to her? But she was in the loading Ooh. zone. He was just blocking a lane of traffic. Yeah, it's like he was blocking the bus. <laughs> and it's like, dude, <laughs> dude, just take the L. Yeah. And, and he just he just spazzed and pointed at a black lady. He was like, yeah, you're not saying it to her, are you? And it's fucking. It was such a sick thing for him to get in in that moment. Like, oh fuck it, I'm gonna do it, dude. He at least <laughs> tried, he at least tried to make a selfie video about it on the way home. He for some reason I gotta throw the rap around No dude I watched one. a guy I watched a guy get mad And then just fucking Blame a black lady for it He's like Why the fuck is she there yeah. though <laughs> And just and like, Dude Goose the gas And he kind of like Insulted the Like the parking manager So the manager's chilling And I look at him And I go Dude What the fuck was that And he was like Dude people lost their fucking mind He's like I've been out here for years dude He's like After 2020 He's like People are fucked up right now He's like yeah. I get spazzed on Constantly He goes they don't know, but I think he said he was like a some degree black belt in Taekwondo. He's like, I he's like not a single one's ever gotten out of the car. He's like, I'm dying for one of these dudes to get out of the car and come wow. at me. And, and do it in front of his staff. You're talking to the manager, right? Talking to the manager, yeah. dude. dude. Doing that in front of your staff, dude. Just one quick like spinning Bro. back hook kick. He's thirsty for it, and he's you can tell he genuinely must be a kung fu master because he's like, dude. He's like, I tell my kids all the time, man. He's like, just do something that makes people smile. That's all you got to do. <laughs> He's like, everyone's awful. I'm sitting outside with this guy. I was just like, dude, you might be. The he was close to the sickest that's dude a, ever. That's a very, yeah. very sick sitting dude. outside being like, just chilling with the bros. There's one dude's in there getting pussy on Facebook. He's chilling. He comes out. <laughs> and he's just like, just imagining himself doing karate on fat white dudes. <laughs> oh, dude. He was like 45. And dude, he was just chilling. He was like, bro. <laughs> You got to do something that makes people happy, man. And people get themselves too stressed. You end up running around like that guy. And I'm like, dude, you you can't be more right. Yeah. I was so stressed. that I'm sitting there talking to the dude. I'm like, yeah, dude, you are 1,000% right. Wow. I love. I get that every now and again. I'll be in a high-stress situation, and a dude just materializes with crazy wisdom. that I'm like, whoa. We had a... When we were in um Detroit or Cleveland or whatever, did I tell you guys about Sabin, our Uber driver? He was like a young... Danny, did I tell anybody about this? I I haven't heard about this, dude. So we were in the car with Saban, and I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do this justice. But he was like a smaller, like Middle Eastern type kid, he seemed very young. And uh, I love when Uber drivers start talking about like getting girlfriends, dude. Sorry, but I just want to cut you off. What you described yeah. is the Dale Earnhardt Jr. of Uber. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best Uber experience you can get. <laughs> Go on. I heard you saying that. I was like, yeah. fucking Tim. I'm so jealous. <laughs> That's such yeah. a sick Uber experience. Yeah, we and uh, <laughs> dude, like you know, they, like Uber drivers start <sighs> talking about get, like getting girlfriends or whatever. Yes. And I, yes. we were talking about like, oh man, like avoiding sluts. And he mm. goes, "Yeah, man, that's why I like I can't stand strip clubs." And we're like, "Why? Oh, uh, yeah, dude, they're not really like, like my thing." He's like, "I think strip clubs should be illegal, man." And we're like, "Okay, cool." He's like, "It's just like it should just be a crime to like take a woman for granted." And we're just like, damn, dude, whoa. dude. Yeah. 
I he had like, he had bro. he had a, a pretty good setup in his head and he was yeah. just breaking it down. Yeah, for dude, it. you're just describing he was ISIS, like, dude. dude. He, <laughs> we've, done, we've done. He was like, bros, don't you agree? Check yeah. out this Twitter account, bros. <laughs> <laughs> you, were you almost no, radicalized? Were he, you, is, like, dude, he is right is though. Partly dude. radicalized. I, I think it should be a crime to take a woman and her beauty for granted. Dude, if ISIS just stopped cutting off people's hands and just saying "what the fuck, bro" instead, they'd have <laughs> yeah, way. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? It'd be a way bigger movement. Yeah, yeah, so what? Wait, just think so it what should was, be a crime, man? What was his? What, what else? What, what else entailed his setup that he explained? Danny, hit me with some details. What was this dude all about besides that? He thought that women were more valuable than men because they can. Create. Okay, women are more valuable okay, than men. Okay, women, women can create life. He said so they carry more value inherently dude, than men. Dude, I can I get into like, mystical same. feminist. Getting into mystical like, feminism you, fucking rules. You, yeah. I said you've got some great ideas, man. He started being like they are the planet. It, it got a little bit squirrely by the end of the ride. The more detail he added, the more we were like, oh, okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Dude, I'm already there. I'm yeah. already like that yeah. first thing. Like women are more valuable yeah, than men. Like, like all right, maybe like, we got a little. He started yeah, off angle, so hot. He, yeah. he started off so hot, and the ride was long enough that it was always just gonna. Get he also he's wild. also practicing by the end he's every, like he's like i think if you marry a woman and she has kids man you should be able to kill them i, I'm a, I am, yeah i am a little hypocritical about it because like i do like in i do treat anthony that way like, sacred. i really yeah she's she's, she, she's a sacred human being to me but and God, then I'm like, earth mother basically but i'm hypocritical but i'm like these other bitches though dude you know well first of all i had something to say about the dude what the fuck i totally forget about the uber driver Saban, yeah. The, so, dude, he was just practice. He's on. He's like workshopping. He has material for every chick that gets in the car. Mm. So he's workshopping like the craziest girlfriend. That he was trying to. He was trying to hit us with. Just dri- yeah, he was just driving, practicing his five minutes he has for chicks. <laughs> he's just kind of like, I don't know, man. I just fucking handle it. something about me. I hate strip clubs. Don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> I just think women are more important to men. You know. <laughs> Just spit in the ultimate jig. Yeah, that is that is pretty. Nothing gets chicks wetter than yeah. mystical feminism. Be like, you guys are Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> it was hung up on how materialistic women were. Uh, women. Yeah, he was saying women are too materialistic. Yeah, but when you're that, like, but that's bro. that's them buying into uh, taking themselves for granted. They're like, you know, you can flip that. That's an easy flip. Dude, girls when it comes to shopping are retarded. <laughs> yes. Like they're retarded. Yeah. Why? How so? They just buy the dumbest bullshit <laughs> from real life experience. It's like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Although, although I, I take that back. I, I was saying, I was saying that for comedic effect. I when, think because no, there's different types of retarded retardation around almost every topic of women. <laughs> I tried to have this discussion <laughs> with Brittany where I was like. I was like, no, but like, it's kind of, you know, billboards are kind of for you guys. So she was, she, was like, she was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, but like, I was like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but like nobody checks their like, like, uh, promotional email, but girls, like you guys are the only ones who read that shit. Yeah. She'll be like, oh, cool. Sunglass. So I'm like, you're in your promotional email. Get out of that. The spring is in the air with Dr. Scholl. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> she was like, yeah, but like they have good, they'll like have like a 50% off thing. So she allow. I think she, I don't think she was in the actual inbox, but she allows that to like pass her like email thresholds. Yeah, I'll watch her check her emails and just be like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "I'm checking all. I have, there's, a bunch, there's a bunch of deals going on." I'm like, "Dude, don't look at that stuff. Yeah, they're tricking yeah. you." She's like, "Dude, it'll be full. Like, oh, but the sale's only going on for another two months." I'm like, "Dude, there'll be another one. <laughs> yeah, there's a sale every expire. like ten seconds. Yeah. It's forty percent off any order over like two hundred dollars." Dude, sales are the funniest. They always like, dude. Last minute sale. It's like, dude, you guys are gonna have another sale in like two weeks. Yeah. Dude, I was at a, I was at a mattress firm the other day. Had to get uh, split queen box springs, and uh, there was a guy in front of me who was just like hemming and hawing about how long everything was taking the whole entire time. There was a woman in the uh, at a mattress store. Yeah, at a ma- yeah. He's not sleeping well, right? Well, he's move. He was in the process of moving. Yeah, even right? worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had to put it on. He had to put his mattress on like three different credit cards. So, he, so he's financially struggling. Beast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're yeah, describing yeah, yeah. a beast, yeah. dude. But he's like, he's definitely putting off airs that he's yeah. that, that he's fighting for his life. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's but he's like putting off that he's like he's like putting off airs that he's balling. Like he's trying to like 
you know, present to the world that he's 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 a well. He's hard got, if you pay for something, he's like, nah. Let me put this on my other credit card. I got three of these things. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he had to call. He had to call two credit card companies to get them to be able to put more money on the credit card. This guy's doing money right. He, <laughs> like he knows what's up. He's like, you make some more and convince that institution that's loaning me this yeah. at an astronomical rate that I should have more. Yeah, yeah. And the lady Yo, that was uh, dude's work- get fucked on credit cards. I wonder if he thinks that yeah. like when you max out a credit card, the interest that they charge is like, it's at the ceiling, dude. Your limit's $5,000. You can't owe more than 5000 I had a friend. It was they, less. Like, his, his limit was less than 1000 because hey, we've been there. The the, per- <laughs> the, the purchase Walk away, don't the want purchase myself. total came up to like just over four thousand, and he was splitting it between three different credit cards, Dude. and he had to get it bumped up to handle the math of that. What if he laid in the mattress with like financial anxiety the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> go to bed? How am I going to pay these credit cards off? Oh, well, that's, no. that that was another woman there, also a customer. She was before me. And she was also a customer, but she was like taking a nap in protest at how long everything was taken. What? She was taking like a like a like a like a theater. Like she was it was a performative theater in protest of how long. And then she would wake up and she'd be like, "Oh, oh she would wake up and go, oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. And an instant phone pull up. Yeah, yeah. And then like go back to sleep. <laughs> and so, and she was like, she was like in a in a in a kind of back room. And then she she woke up into one of those awesome oh, one time. Yeah. And the, dude, the cashier, she's just trying to spin everything into a like she's trying she's just she's just spinning everything into a positive, doing everything. So the woman goes, she wakes up and she's like, ugh. And she comes back, she's like, do you want me to turn the light off for you? Maybe if I make it darker, you know, she's like, where do you, where do you have to be? And she's like, figured out where she worked. Can you bust a nap in a mattress store like that? Uh, she let her. She let her. That's the home of the nap. I feel yeah. like, yeah, I feel like you, they can't stop you from busting a nap. It would be foolish of them to do that. I mean, you got, listen, you got to know. You got to know how this bed works, right? Yeah. And unless you allow your body to like fully relax because of, because of slumber. Yeah. yeah. You'll never know how that bed Plus works. like the more expensive something is, the more liberties you can take in like the sales process. Yeah, they should let you take it home. Like that's a lot. Like, that's something like the poorers don't you, know. If you could finance something, then you're allowed to pretty much fuck on it. Yeah. Cars. True. True. Mattresses. Not obviously you can't have sex with, but you can like really like yo. My purposes are pretty specific. I need to try this. Out. I want to rent. I want to rent like a really expensive mattress. You got a room <laughs> like like the top of the line, dude. Just, just have a mattress bill. <laughs> just get something like crazy, like a twenty thousand dollar mattress. You're gonna rent it, man. and just pay like three hundred a month, dude. Right? <laughs> you could get it for like three hundred a month. You could probably get the nastiest mattress on the market. How old is it gonna be, though? <laughs> like two years old. How many miles? It's got, <laughs> yeah. How many? Like a seven year old died off it. Like a seven year old, like a five year old, five year That's shift the only one I'd be able to afford. Died yeah. off it. Yeah, you check the mattress have, facts. Like any, like deaths, a, any deaths on this? A like, 70 year old <laughs> couple died having sex on this. It was like, oh, let me call the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just sat on a bed, looked out the window because you could see. Uh, I think it was like 476. You can see yeah. like this interchange like 476 in this overpass. I just looked at the cars and meditated the whole entire time. Pretty sick. Yeah, and then she kept commenting on how patient I was being. That's the best. Yeah. I've been a customer service good boy myself, and I do like when they give me like, thank you for being so patient. It's like- These yeah, other guys, I, I, yeah. you know. You have cultivated a deep so patience. I'm not, I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but for my patients, she gave me the higher end box spring, but at the lower end box spring cost. <laughs> So I, I paid like le- like basically half. I got like half. Wow. That might be mattress lady razzle dazzle. It though. was. It was. What's it the was difference like, between a box spring? But she wasn't. <laughs> but she like, was like, we got these nice ones and these shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she just needed she just needed me to feel no, they probably appreciated did. for yeah, my patience. They, they probably you know do for sure. Yeah, and it was. It was like the the box spring that I have is like it's metal instead of wood. That's pretty sick. Yeah, and it has like waffle, like waffle cones. No, that's pretty sick. Yeah, it's I'm pretty sick. Joshing. I've always been so unexcited by box springs. They're pretty terrible. Yeah, they're just such a... Every time, I'm always trying to like figure out how to not have a box spring. Box spring is yeah. the most important part of the bed. I don't... Dude, I, they fucking freak me out. Box springs freak me. Why? I just am like, what is it? What the fuck? What Bro, the hell is the point of this bad thing? box spring, it, it's, it's game over. For I've, I've yeah, never tasted a bad box spring. 
Well, you're, no, no, I think your bed just broken. Mostly at that point. taste the bad box spring. Yeah, that's exactly. A broken bed. The human most integral part of the entire bed. Yeah. Cut it out. Sleepers, sleepers are conditioned to uh, accept bad box springs. We've like you've mostly only ever yeah. probably dealt with. You bad You think box you think you've got like a soft spot in your mattress? It's actually like the box spring. One of the slats is broken or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like, yeah. You or got a bad back. You're acting yeah. like a fucking bitch all day about it. What about is, any, is anyone there to repair? Is anyone out repairing box springs? I'm sure dads. That'd be an honest. <laughs> I'm sure my dad, I can see my dad repairing a box. Repairing the box spring. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I hate them, dude. I went to like I mean, put them upstairs. They don't. Dude, fit. Your, your don't dad fit. putting on like dollar store readers to go to the hardware store to like match a spring. Oh, dude, I that's need... what took so long for us to get the box spring because like we couldn't we couldn't fit a full queen box spring up our steps. Yeah, so we had to get the split queen box spring so we can bring them up one at a time. Right? Yeah, dude. There's but, no there's no angry I've ever been in my life to like I've moved a bed by myself. Yeah. Mattress up the stairs, like got it. Go to move the box spring. It's like donk, donk. You yeah. realize it's not going to the second. Taking floor. out chunks of yeah. wall. Like, yeah. yeah, dude. Nothing feels better than like having a mattress and just being like, I know this. I could just crumple this thing through any opening. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. A mattress is like a fucking squirrel. Like, yeah, yeah. It can get through oh, yeah. some pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> down the steps. Yeah, it's like it's bones. Mattress, it's, like it's yeah. bones collapse. <laughs> uh, dude, just letting the mattress slide down the steps. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, that's uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people fun. use like gravity or gravity big time with mattresses. Mm -hmm. Yes, like I say, if I move in a mattress, I'm like, all right, the steps, like, yo, watch out, I'm like, just flop it, kick it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, so you, you got the. They were like good. <laughs> they were, you were a good boy in the mattress place. Yeah. I I like that, dude. I like waiting and like, especially like if like my flight gets delayed, be like, there's no problem with that, and act real fucking suave. Oh, so real, real quick, what I was gonna say. So the first night. We uh, when we moved, we couldn't we couldn't get our box spring uh. up there, so we slept with our mattress on the floor, and we were that was like the best night of sleep that we had in years. It's nice, and that that's when we realized box springs, like the box spring you get, fucking matters. Really? Yeah, because I went back and looked at the box spring, like everywhere where I had back discomfort where I woke up, there was like there was enough space in the box spring box spring for the mattress to like dip a little bit. Like most enough. important part. Of the yeah, I, I just feel so zen out in a low bed. The low beds are. If I'm gonna suit, if I'm gonna mattress on the ground, I'm very comfortable. Yeah, I don't understand why I even need beds. True. Well, like bed sets and all that. No, like a like a. Not why, even a why not just a mattress on the floor? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, yeah, all the. Like, I think the incels have it right, dude. Every time a girl makes fun of a dude for having a mattress on the floor, I want to push them in front of a bus. Yeah. Dude, I did it for I did it for a while. Yo, we just we just did it for. Since we moved into that house until yesterday, when I surprised my love with elevation, <laughs> we're off the floor, babe. We oh, made. you gave it. You got wow. the twin air box rings. Yeah, yeah, I got them, and I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody I did it. It is nice to level bay down for a few days, a few weeks. Yeah, take her to the it floor. Was, it was a few years. <laughs> it was a few years. You, it humbles yeah. them. It humbles yeah. bay. I've, yeah. I've slept. You know, we've moved, and it's just mattress on the floor. Dude. It puts them in like a real. I'm telling you, we slept yeah. on the floor. On a mattress with our dogs, and there was no curtains, no blinds in our house before when we moved in, because neither of us thought to like get all that stuff. So it took <laughs> us like a week. But dude, there was like real peaceful mornings. We we're up with the sun, coming on a mattress, and like the dogs. It was so nice. Yeah, th this like coincided with when Ansley was like seriously dedicating herself to jujitsu. Yeah, and it kind of just went with the martial arts lifestyle. It's pretty sick. That is pretty tight. Yeah, there, gr dude, growing up poor and being poor for most of my adult life with a family. There's some of the most embarrassing shit you run into is like sl like sleep setups. Yeah. Like like there's a there's like a room <laughs> oh, with like yeah. an expensive repair that you're waiting on so like someone's sleeping on like a like a sleeping bag in like a living yeah. room and it's like oh okay. Yeah, there's yeah. always a milk crate involved somewhere yeah. in this. Yeah. There's always yeah. a milk crate That's of always stuff. tough, man. Yeah, Dude. it's tough. And then like an older sibling gets like uh, uh, their own room in an unfinished basement and they're still just like this is the sickest ever <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like sleeping illegally close to a water heater you're oh, just like god damn yeah. we need some posters <laughs> Dude, I, I, slept, <laughs> I slept in an attic under walls that were like slanted and crumbling yeah. So they, the walls were constantly falling down onto our oh, bed. We had to like sucks. shake it out our sheets and shit. Oh, like the insulation? Like the no, orange the wall. Shit? Like the, the oh. fucking plaster oh. was like crumbling. Dude, I I a fucked up sleep setup is jarring. Mm -hmm. I had I was I had the possibly the sickest setup where it was four dudes in one room. 
So I had a four dude, four bros, one room. That's what I had in that attic. It was. But three. you guys are ready three. for anything. But it was. Yeah. Big, it was a big. It was supposed <laughs> yeah. to be my parents' room. They're like, <laughs> "Fuck it, we'll put all the boys in one room, and we'll just take a smaller room." Yeah. So we moved in this big ass room with the four dude. It was a full thunder. It's like dude. sleepover it was, every night. It was the best. Dude. Yeah. So much fun. That's how it was. Me, and my brother, and my cousin Jesse up in that attic. <sighs> that rules. Yeah. That's fun as fuck. It was pretty pretty sick. Yeah, I feel, dude, I, I feel shitty. Like, having it, when I had to sleep by myself for the first, I didn't sleep in a room by myself until I was, I think, 23 or 24. And I didn't like it. I was like, this yeah, sucks. It's lonely. It stinks, dude. Although, having a house to yourself, I did that for a while. That kind of fucking ruled. That's it was, different. It That's, was fucked up. Yeah. I lived in a, my setup was fucked, dude. I got fully left to my own devices, and it was like, I didn't have a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a trash can. Mattress on the floor. And Compost I had just like. only. Dude, it was fucked up in there. Yeah. I let animals, I've talked about this before, but I had like full, I let like ladybugs live in my house, <laughs> straight, straight cats in there. I had a full ecosystem. <laughs> yeah. So I, it was like, no one was there to be like, yo, what are you doing? I was like, all right, I'll just like set up a house. Like I like my, my standards on Your a dream house, house are yeah. fucked, dude. My brother would come in. He's like, dude, it looks like you do heroin, dude. I was like, you can't have people here. This is crazy what you're doing. He's like, this is like, he's like, it fucks me up to come in here and look at your setup. <laughs> I was like, dude, relax. I'll clean it. He's like, no, this is upsetting, dude. This is how, like, it was. Who's this, Tom? Tom. Yeah. He was like, dude, this is fucked. Dude, yeah. He's like, you look like you're shooting dope, dude. He's like, this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. That was one of the first things that me and Tom bonded on. My fucked up talking about your fucked up house, <laughs> dude. We just lived in this house in the fucking cut, dude. In the backyard, or the back door didn't work fully on it, so like a kid could sneak in. There. A kid did sneak in there one time, and, like stole all my change. I'd be like, God <laughs> damn it! How did you know it was a kid? Did you catch him? They're all so they used to. I had a, like a gun, tiny handprints everywhere. <laughs> Here's the thing: they went. I think they took like a soda, and just change. And I had, dude, I had like a quarter pound of weed in my closet and a handgun, and I'm like. I think anyone who was, there was no way the gap they fit through was so small. It had to be a kid and the stuff they took. I was yeah. like, clearly kid stuff. Because I was like, there's no way an adult. All my through. candy was missing. <laughs> they like, they grabbed the fucking <laughs> coins and like only a kid would grab just the coins. And be like, fucking yeah. go, 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 go. <laughs> Someone else would have, I didn't hide anything else that well. It was all just right in my closet. <laughs> like all the TVs returned to like the scrambly porn channel. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting burgled, getting burgled by children is crazy, dude. It's not even you don't even feel like you've been violated. You're like, oh man, look at these little guys had fun in here. <laughs> had a good time. There's probably like fucking forty bucks and change. Nice. I was like pumped. I'm like, all right, good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, soft crime. That's great. Just little kids, man. Have we used to come up and like give we would my brother had a lunch truck. So we would drive up to, like the end of the day. And they would all like throw rocks to the lunch truck mm. and like chase it. And we'd they'd come up, we'd hook them up with sodas and we'd like sit there and they would just tell us the most like ridiculous shit. Yeah. Do, and you, then, do you used to be allowed to be a little bit rambunctious? Like, yeah, we, dude. There are these warehouses on, in my neighborhood. Some are abandoned, but like if you walk by it, you would just pick up rocks and break windows like yeah. on your way to school. Dude, somebody <laughs> ratted on my brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, somebody like fucking came to my house one time. Like I was like, I was babysitting my brothers, like yeah. my two younger brothers. And, uh, best case scenario, your older brother to feel that. You know what I mean? It's oh like they came. Up, they came to my house and was like, just so you know, you know, Darius and Derek are down at this like abandoned warehouse, throwing rocks through windows. And it's like, yeah, well, right on that. To be fair, I'd want to know if I was a parent. And my kids were doing that. I'd be like, yeah. yo, bro, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, want, I like. I was a pretty good kid otherwise, and uh, I don't remember it. Like that was just. I, I probably did other bad dude. shit too, but that one sticks out. But I can't imagine what a shock it would have been for my dad to be like, "What you're doing? What?" <laughs> yeah, it's just like jar. I mean, it's just like totally victimless. I feel like, but it's kind of like, dude, what are you doing hanging out? I mean, it's also I don't know. I go back and forth because that's like it's exactly where a young boy should be, like abandoned warehouses and stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's why I'm like I understand. Yeah, dude, we used to, I used to take. Those golf are like balls. the modern testing grounds. Are they factories. are? They oh, for yeah. sure, are. for sure, dude. Yeah, yeah. I used to like go with my cousins and take. Uh, golf balls and just hit them at a public school and break the windows mm -hmm. and it was like that was like i didn't think anything of that dude and then like sometimes you'd run into like a really th like a plexiglass window and it'd be like bong when you hit it with something you're like okay i'm gonna throw something bigger at it now <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah yo come come help me do this yeah okay yeah, yeah i was on these are working give me a stick ball bat i was from like pre-high school i guess you know from like seventh eighth grade 
up until like 11th, maybe even 12th, I was fully into just like total property destruction. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll definitely break that window. Never that for me it was like I was very conscious of whether or not it was someone's property like anything that was abandoned not like or, yeah not a yeah. house like, yeah, 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 yeah never yeah, fuck yeah. with a house just like weird shit or just like again I'll knock on the door and run it oh, was on oh, yeah. any property. school I would damage any school property cool that's why hitting like the school I was like just fuck the school dude. yeah <laughs> <laughs> school su- hey school. school sucks dude yeah. <laughs> dude you we just watch a golf ball land on blacktop and then take off on the second bounce and just sail through a fucking window just. Psh- I once I once refused to to go knocking on doors and running with people because uh, they wouldn't they wouldn't stop calling it what they were calling it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 dude. They, doorbell Dixie, dude. That's what? not yeah, that's not what they called it. In my knock knock, zoom zoom in my neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> I know, I know what you're saying. So sad. <laughs> I know what we you're called saying. it in our own neighborhood. I know. What you call it? It was called nigger knocking. <laughs> In my neighborhood, <laughs> it's like no, I'm not doing that. Damn, I've heard yeah. that term before. I wish I could go back in time and introduce that to my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. That yeah. was that was fucking. Uh, what was the technology from Wakanda dude, that was just too powerful? <laughs> <laughs> that was a vibranium. <laughs> vibranium. What was that? Shit called? <laughs> vibranium. <laughs> was, I think it was vibranium. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you could have handled that, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's, did they, well, I mean, at least tell me it was soft day, though. No, it was, I refused to do it. So, like, what? So, and this is what got me caught up. So, I refused to do that, but I wanted to go and hang out. But I, so, me and my cousin Trennis, we were just. Say that one more time. Me and my cousin Trennis. 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 Trennis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. We would just every time they would go uh, to nigger knock, right? <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> we, we would throw like a handful of like gravelly rocks at like the window so people would come open the door before they got like as they were going up to nigger dude fucking hilarious oh. <laughs> oh. hilarious there's also people by like what the fuck's out there? and they see like, like young black kids throwing rocks in their house the other kids going like what the yes. fuck's going on right yes. now <laughs> dude so funny oh. and uh so yeah we were doing and we did that for like multiple houses like we're, we're with the group we're just fucking with you know we're fucking just with them totally being under siege yeah <laughs> Technically, you're under siege at that point. <laughs> oh, from the they, they pour a giant pot of boiling oil off the roof. <laughs> imagine, imagine like turning off Fox News, and be like, ah, looking outside and be like, Jesus fucking Christ, we're at DEFCON five. We've been t- this is not a drill. This is not a drill. <laughs> no, the pe- most of, most of the people, most of the people that uh. Most of the people that we did that to were CNN. They were for CNN. Sure, for CNN sure, for sure. Homes. I yeah. know. It's just funny to think yeah, dude, about. We got chased. This is what. This is what. And so we fucked. We fucked it all up for everybody because we, were, you know, we were throwing the rocks. So we there was this one house. This dude had a Corvette in his uh, in his driveway, and uh, that should have been repellent, dude. If you see the vet, you're like, shh, can't fuck with this guy. Yeah. Well, we yeah, again, it was too dark. We didn't. We we knew we we knew he had a vet. I mean, obviously, we yeah, knew yeah, he had no, you got to go. You did the right thing. So we threw we threw the rocks. And then he came out running out of the house and was accused, before he even looked at the vet, he was already accusing us of like putting a scratch on it. On the vet. On the vet with, with the rocks. So he chased all of us down. And then me and my cousin Trennis, we were always like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was yeah. about the guy being like, they fucking scratched the vet. <laughs> you like, fuck, you scratched my fucking vet. <laughs> Just full sprint. Like, I'm going to kill one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's basically so he he, he he gathered up. God damn! He gathered up like four of us, and me and my cousin we were, we were like so far ahead because we were throwing rocks from a distance anyway. Yeah, but people ratted us out. That's like such a funny thing to do, by the way. Yeah, to alert someone. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was so fun. But they they ratted us out, and you know they knew everybody knew everybody's parents and shit. So we had to come with them <sighs> to the situation. So yeah, they called the cops and it was a fucked up situation. But then. The scratch that he was trying to accuse us oh, of doing. Oh, he tried to, do a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His uh, his wife, like, let it slip to the police that that scratch had been there. <gasps> oh, my yeah. God. So he just, like, he just heard ding, 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 like, like shit, like, little gravel rocks hitting shit in his yeah. yard. And he was just like, the scratch. 
Yeah. You know? <laughs> it was just Whoa. chased us. True. Yeah. 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 I mean, dude, that's also such a sick. Do you think dudes like really like are worried about the Corvettes getting scratched or that's just something that's like adopted? Yeah, it's, it's, and that's the talk. front of your brain all, all the time. Yeah. You think so? When you, when you become a Corvette guy, you're just like, you just think about the finish on that bad boy all day, every day. <laughs> dude, especially. <laughs> that's your Zahir, dude. Yeah. That's the coin turning infinitely in your head and you can't even imagine anything else. <laughs> Dude, when you and when you're from when you're like from like a poor neighborhood and that's your come up, oh yeah, God, that's that's my, everything. The vet, just the, the vet. vet my uncle, my uncle Billy is one of the nicest guys in the entire world. Came from the hood. Yeah. Now he's like, he's like a thirty year electrician. Very. Oh. Er, his whole setup is just very nice. He's yeah. Got a, he's had a Corvette for like years. What if you scratched that? What's that? What if you scratched? What that? if I scratched yeah. it? I mean, he's a really nice guy. He would he would handle it. He'd be he'd, all right. He'd handle it so well. But you think he? He's not a Corvette guy. But he's he's had a Corvette for a long time. He's a uh, guy. yeah. But like he's I, dude, no one deserves it more. But it's like, damn, that is. I, just thinking about the color of it, you're just like, wow. I've always been envious yeah. of that. I've seen dudes with like a backdrop of like a like a nice car to get juiced up on that. I wish I, I wish I felt that. Oh, like, me too. I I, I, I like genuinely envy. Yeah, like a, one of those like cool manly spiritual bonds with one car. Yeah, and it was really nice. I think a Corvette's a really good option for that. It, yeah, I just I always get like. It's something. It's like sports. Like everyone watches sports. I get. I'm the weirdo to be like, what the fuck's up with this? Mm. The like, loving cars is something I've, I've always been like, dude, this is so fucking weird. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't understand it. I'm always been like, dude. But it's cool to imagine like if that was your thing. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 I, I envy yeah. that. Yeah. Um, My dad got into that when we were younger. He started like getting like, old cars. I think up, that's like, just GTOs like old guy stuff. autism. It's just like a guy got obsessed with like a machine one time. Yeah, And true. now he's got like a weird green little tiny convertible. You're like, what company made that? And it's like, yeah, it's from 1946. True. I see, you see those dudes down the shore. I watched my dad and his bros do this, dude. This guy yeah. used to, yeah. re, he would uh, refinish this. It's like a certain type of Mustang or a Corvette that they only made in like the, or Stingray. Uh, yeah. I think Stingrays or something. Certain type of That bit. does sound like a cool car. He specialized. He just fucked with Stingrays. Okay. And he refurbished Stingrays. So I would sit in that garage with my dad and they would talk like that exact talk. I'm like, yeah, man, these old seats they have in these things, man, they're just, man, they're hard to get. And, uh, you know, <laughs> hard to get. And it's just, yeah. like, guys rip them out, but it's like, it's not really, it's not, you know, you got to keep the right, all the right stuff in there. It's just going to be a classic. Car. Just nonstop. And I would sit in there being like, dude, where am I? And what the fuck's going yeah. on? Yeah. The Phantom sounds like a cool car, too. A Phantom? It's, yeah, it's not as is cool. Is that a real car? It is. Yeah, that's the... Uh, the, the purple... The Bentley. Yeah. Ooh. Put yeah. The fuck, I'll put the curtains on you, bro. If you try to look in my Phantom, bro. I'll like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe put the curtains on. Is that the Maybach? Might be the curtains that, on the yeah, Maybach. The May, yeah, the Maybach. Dude. Yeah. Tch, fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're the curtains that you can just fucking... Dude, those Maybachs have an inbuilt feature for haters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can either get away from your haters or infuriate them further by just going... <laughs> That would piss me off. I'm looking at someone's Maybach trying to hate on them, and they fucking <laughs> hit me with the curtains. I would be like, God damn, bro. I'd see him at the Walmart. I might be like, Yeah, I have beef. <laughs> I got beef. <laughs> That's too. Wait, I wonder if that happened to the baby's assailants. If he put the curtains on, like, Your Honor, uh, he definitely put the curtains on the fucking Phantom. <laughs> I'll rest my case. I have, no, I have nothing to say further. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is so fucking tight. <laughs> to like get that jazzed on the Phantom. Yeah, yeah. And just be like, dude, I gotta do a donut in this immediately, dude, just to make it real. I gotta yeah. do a donut in the Phantom just so people know I have it. Yeah, getting jazzed on anything is pretty sick. I know. I, I fucking, I'm oh, a loser for that. I knew when I first started uh, working uh, at like real jobs, I, I met a dude who was like my age at the time, I guess. So he's probably like 20. 2021 yeah and uh he was like an entry-level it guy and but he had all like the certifications he probably went to college or whatever and he got his first real job we were working at the same place and he was like uh dude he like turned his computer monitor like one of the big ones and he was just like dude this is this is the goal right now and it was like uh evo is that a car is that a mitsubishi mm. and evo oh yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah and he was like yep I got one. Uh, he started the process of buying one where he was like, when I get it, it will have exactly 0.0, .0 miles on it. They're going to, uh, like, no one's going to even start the car before it gets to the lot for me. They're going to take it off of, like, a tow truck. <sighs> Dude. And he's like, no one's ever going to ride this except me. And, and then I know a guy in Virginia who soups these up, the Evo guy. He drove down to Virginia. Bro, 
bro, what? He, was paying, he was paying $600 a month for this car <laughs> at 21 years old. For the Evo. For the Evo. And making, then he was uh, making like $22,000 a year. Holy he, fuck. Like dude. every penny this dude had <laughs> yeah, went, to went into having the sickest car he could imagine. <laughs> and then it was like photo shoots with the car. He fuck, he loved this thing. He was so into it. He was just like, I don't care. This, all I care about is the Mitsubishi Evo and Unreal Tournament, dude. Do not bother me about anything else. Dude, I used to, uh, he dude, was, dude, I had a cherry red. Pretty cool So yeah. tight, dude. <laughs> That fuck, I, like that bothers the shit out of me. Yeah. yeah, I had a cherry red Mitsubishi Eclipse that was like oh. from the year before. Mm. Yeah, that's like serious. That's a serious fingering mobile. Yeah, it was like my mom, my mom and her, and you know, my mom, my brother, they were in that bad car accident, and they got a lot of money. Yeah, and they just bawled the fuck out. Bro. And then my mom realized that she didn't get like do anything for me graduating college. Sorry, yeah, Jesus Christ, that was silent. So she just gave me that car. You had a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Yeah, a sick Mitsubishi. How hard did you stunt that thing, dude? It was like it was hard to not stunt. Yeah, because I I realized if I stunt because the, the practical. So what I did is I turned that in and I got like a Mitsubishi Galant, like a bigger, you know, more practical car and money back. Yeah, but dude, you gave up all the sauce. I did. The I did. Eclipse but was the sauce. Dude. It was like there was at the time when Ansley and I were trying to forge a future mm, together. Yeah, you couldn't be There's rolling. No the possible dude. way, dude. There's no possible it's way. It's exactly why the dude's Evo is so sick. It's like you know, I would. I wish I would have been the guy that would take that road, but I would never do that. Yeah, I, mean, I had. To, I had to worry about uh, the big setup the whole time. Said yeah. maybe you like can this. handle the ring. I see what I'm saying. Maybe you can't. See what I'm saying? You gave up the eclipse for yes. this. Yes. Cherry red. He threw the eclipse Dude. into a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, and it was like. I take it back was like, everything I've said. Dude, it was like fully, like all the bells and whistles. It, it didn't have a convertible. It wasn't the spider. I mean, I, I was about to say, dude, if you yeah. threw the spider in the ring, then I, that's, <laughs> yeah, 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 I was yeah, just yeah. like, it's no spider. It's no spider. spider was like, your dad has a spider, dude? Yeah. I knew some dude's dad had a spider, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. No, it was, uh, but no, it was it was a sick fucking Was car. it a coupe or a sedan? It was a coupe. It was a two. Coupes? I, yeah, that's a, uh, you can't be in a relationship and have a coupe, nah. I've decided. I, I saw a guy pick up his kid in a coupe the other day, and I went, yeah. Coupe uh, energy. He just tough, came back dude. from fingering coupe some energy other is, chick. I don't, I don't drive with coupe, coupe energy, dude. Yeah, no, I don't know why. It like it like attracts a certain type of people too. Like I would, I would that coupe like that is the car for people that are looking to cheat on their wives. I think so. It's like I think yeah. so because it's like uh, yeah, you can <clears throat> get in if you want, but I've got it's the most uncomfortable setup. Mm -hmm. That's I always wanted a sedan so my bros in the back can be comfortable mm -hmm. as hell. But it, it, but for the Eclipse. I mean, there was barely any room back there. Like their heads would have been hitting the ceiling. Those are made for teenage girls to be in the back of this. Yeah, that's all. The, that's all. That's, <laughs> that's what a coupe is. It's a car for two normal seats that fit two teenage girls behind you. Yeah, that's what a coupe's for. You know, what car I always saw even for when eighteen I was, and over 20, 18 and over twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> even when I was a kid, even when I saw every time I saw a prism, I'd be like, "Wow, this person's really got their priorities in the right place." <laughs> Prisms are nasty, dude. <laughs> mm. Every time I've seen a prism in my life, I'm like, well, you know what? This person is probably, they probably have a nicer apartment because they're spending the money the right way. <laughs> <laughs> no one's, that is chill, though. No one's ever been like, I got to get a prism. Dude. It is chill to have like the nicest setup in the hood, though. You'd see them, you'd see them around and you'd be like, okay, this guy is not balling out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. He's playing it right because honestly, there's other ways to get pussy. <laughs> true. Every, t every single time I've seen him. Just getting a steady paycheck, pussy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's, dude, you, that's, that's a longer. Takes longer to get the steady paycheck pussy, but it's good, reliable pussy. Yeah, dude. When I was trying to trade that Eclipse in for the Gallant, they were heavily trying to push the Lancer on me. <sighs> dude, Whoa. they were Which trying to like, ruin your man. It's a lateral move, dude. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's a four door finger mobile. Yeah, the dude, Lancer. You can't do the Lancer. That's what yeah. it is. Named here. after that. Yeah. That's so it's yeah. called the Lancer. Yeah. If you, <laughs> you have, have that put, like, you, you would that not pussy. be able to stop yourself from having sex with like Asian girls in black mini skirts holding checkered flags. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. We should probably, what are we at? Like 116? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. Let's slide over, dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a little Patreon. Let's re up. Yeah. Let's re up and go over there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>